we got an unboxing, or rather a card opening. I have not done one of these in quite a long time, and I don't think, I am 99% sure, I haven't done one of these on the new channel. I used to do some Yu-Gi-Oh card openings for like card packs and tins um, a, a long time ago. And they got okay reception. People like watching unboxings. People like to see, you know, it, it's like it's like a niche, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. But this, I was at Walmart, looked at my bank account, saw it was empty, and decided to buy this. This is the um, 2019 Gold Sarcophagus tin. And honestly, dude, it is gorgeous. I love I love tins like this. It is so cool. Just it's like this is like the perfect gold. This golden black. And uh yeah, inside contains a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna put that right there. You're not gonna be able to read that because of the reflections. Look at hey look, there's my camera. So we're gonna get right into this and ah! Alright, so first on the top, let's go like that. That's basically everything we get inside. A couple of boosters and some special cards. Underneath, nothing. Move that aside. First card on top is Neo Kaiser Glider. This looks like another card that can very easily be used in a Blue Eyes deck to get a Blue Eyes out, or at least get Blue Eyes in your hand and such. So, apart from the first card, we're going to set the bundle of special cards aside and hit the 2019 Mega Pack um, Gold packs right here first. Ooh, they are nice and thick. There's a good amount of cards in here. I hope so because this is like 20 bucks. This whole, this entire card pack is 20 bucks. Oh, and actually it says it right here too. 16 cards per pack times three plus that. So we do have uh, about a deck, a deck's worth of cards. Let's go ahead and open this nicely. I can, if there's one thing I can't stand about watching people open card packs, which I don't normally do. It's not one of the things I watch on YouTube, but it's watching people open up packs just haphazardly with hatred for the cards. So, starting off first, I'm gonna go like this. Uh, we got Dealer's Choice, Trickster Mandrake. I'm gonna kinda lay these out because going over every single card is gonna be boring, so I'm just gonna kinda lay them out. If anything stands out, then I'll call attention to it. I know it might be kinda hard to see with the glare. Ooh, okay, so we got some Link Summon monsters right here, which I, I'm not much into Link Summoning. I'm an OG I'm an OG duelist, so I don't even know how Link Summoning works, but getting some of the cards is cool because I do, I really enjoy the design. This is Nightmare Mermaid. Look at that. That's a pretty sick looking card. And then Nightmare Unicorn. I just love the art style in Yu-Gi-Oh! Something about it. Ooh. Cyber's Clock Dragon. This is a fusion card for Clock Wyvern and a Link Monster. Right there. Nice, nice. Oh! Boy Cotton! A cutesy card. Here's another one. Goki Heal Ogre. Another Link card. Th three Trolling Trolls. Very interesting. And then Vampire Grimson, which is a really cool looking uh, edgelord card that I myself uh, resonate with. And I, if it's a zombie card, if it works, I might put in my Skull Servant zombie deck. Yeah, I have a Skull Servant zombie deck. Fight me. So this is the uh, contents of the first pack that I opened. If you can see, I would recommend viewing in full screen 1080p for the you know full, easily viewable experience. I'm going to go like that because I know that we have that glare from my lights. But that is the first pack. I'm going to go ahead and sort these out. All right, we've organized the piles right here by type of card. And I'm going to try to keep them over here without knocking them over. Next pack. Ooh, here's a cool fusion card. Uh, Predaplant Dragon Stapelia. Jesus Christ, dude, these names. These freaking names. One fusion and one dark monster, so you already need a fusion to get this card out. It looks like it has a quick effect that it's activated once per turn, so that's nice. I got a nice uh, shiny card right here. I I, I don't know, all, there's like 30 different kind of uh, type of holographic variants, but this one's a nice nice and pretty rainbowy one. I don't know exactly what type it is. So this is Mana Dragon Zernitron. Up oh, here's a Nightmare Cerberus Link card. Another Link Firefighting Dorama Doll. Okay. And Dino Wrestler's uh, Cystegosaur. Okay. Nothing crazy standing out to me so far. Nothing I'm like, ooh, I gotta add that to a deck somewhere. I gotta set this in my binder. Um, nothing nothing too insane, but still, not bad cards. Add them to my uh, infinitely expanding collection. Hey, who wants to buy a, who wants to buy a 500 duplicates that I have? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 500? I meant to say 5,000 because I have so many cards. Oh, crap. I dropped one. The final pack. 
I always forget that basically every three days Yu-Gi-Oh! releases a brand new archetype. <laughs> it's, it is completely ridiculous how many archetypes they have. Ooh! It's all about the female cards. Dude, I got Cyber's Witch Link card. That's cool looking. Two Cyber's Monsters. Okay. Nightmare Griffin. Ooh! Hey! We Witch's Apprentice. This, uh... This looks like, um... A very old Yu-Gi-Oh card. I don't remember the name of it, but it's like one of like the first release cards. Uh, one of the Witch Monsters. Um, I don't remember the card's name, but it does look just like her. It's the same color, same outfit, same general appearance. But it looks like kind of like a take two of that card. It's We Witch's Apprentice. That's cool. I like cards like that. I like it. I like it when they reference other cards or essentially reboot or revive old cards. I love when they do that. Okay, and that is the final pack draw, uh, if you can see it well enough. Again, I apologize if it's not the easiest to see, but that's kind of the best I got. Again, nothing too crazy except for maybe one, two cards that stand out to me, but uh, nothing that's going in any decks of mine anytime soon. Granted, I haven't been reading every spell and trap card. I can usually get a pretty good idea of what the card's going to pertain to uh, based on the artwork. But these are kind of just the filler packs until we get to the main bundle of cards, which I'm going to open right now. So we're going to set that right there. And there's the card I was looking for. So right here we have Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Look at that gorgeous card. Your opponent cannot target or destroy this card with card effects. Once per turn, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy it. But it doesn't say... You can't attack after it just says once per turn you can target an opponent's monster and destroy it holy oh sorry one of your opponent's cards wow so okay if this card was fusion summoned using a monster whose original name is blue eyes alternative white dragon as material you can target up to three cards your opponent controls instead this card cannot attack the turn this effect is activated okay so it can't attack after it destroys the card which i was gonna say if it could that would be ridiculous ridiculously overpowered that would be banned in an instant okay so i'm going to go ahead and place it down that is a beautiful card that's going in a binder next we have a nice holographic monster reborn and a nice holographic raigeki two banned cards <laughs> that they're going to still release in packs which is funny to me that i mean did they, they didn't change the effects at all right target one monster neither gy special summon it and destroy all monsters your opponent controls. Nope, they still have the same effects, so those are so pretty. And then we have Dimension Shifter, a spellcaster, which means it's a potential to go into my deck right here. If you have no cards in your GY, quick effect, you can send this card to the hand from your hand to the graveyard until the end of the next turn. Any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Okay, so if you have no cards in your graveyard at all, so this is basically... Those are the uh, five bonus uh, special cards you get on top of everything else. So out of everything here, I think I walk away with maybe four cards, four or five cards, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to put that in a special binder. The rest pff, basically go into my filler boxes. Is it worth it to me? Well, I mean, it depends on what you're expecting. If you're expecting a bunch of cards of this quality, not worth it because I didn't... I, I mean, I, I don't really know the rarity of the Link cards, honestly. I, I don't. So, I did get a decent amount, amount of hollows, I will admit. I got a good handful of holographic cards, which doesn't bump the rarity or value by much, but it's still better than a basic common bear blocker. You know what I mean? So, that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Later.